What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is seven US place names I've been saying all wrong. You keen? Yeah, I'm ready. This is obviously by Lost in the Pond, as you can see his mug in the video. Uh, his links will be in the description. Awesome channel. Uh, go and check him out as always. But what should we do? Subscribe to us. We should subscribe to us, but you should also wait to the end of this video before oh, yeah. you go over. But yeah, you if, you, if, if you were listening to us, they'd already clicked off and not seen this. Yeah. So we've lost a few of you, I guess. Shame. But if you haven't clicked it yet, wait till after this video and then go and check Lawrence out. It'd be interesting to see if we've been saying these seven place names wrong. Yeah, it would be. Or if we've been saying them right. Or if we've never heard of a place. Mm. Could be either one. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. And let's get straight into seven US place names I've been saying or Lawrence has been saying completely wrong. Let's go. We were all British and we all had to do southern accents that under no circumstances should sound anything like Forrest Gump. What? <laughs> Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos involves place names and in particular how we pronounce them. And when it comes to the British-American divide I'm led to believe that this is surely a one-sided affair. After all, we Brits love to poke fun at American attempts to pronounce the likes of, you know, Leicester, Worcester and Warwick, even though all three are readily named within the state of Massachusetts. But hold on, because after living in the US for more than a decade I've come to realise that it's not just the Americans that struggle with locational phonetics. We Brits, myself included, are absolutely woeful. The Spanish would giggle at our pronunciation of Uruguay or Chile, and the Americans, well, let's just say that I've made an enormous hash brown of my tomato tomatoes, and it's time to come clean. That's right. So how else do you say Uruguay and Chile? Uruguay and Chile. Yeah, how else would you say that? Apparently that's wrong. That's what Lawrence has said, I'm pretty sure, saying he'd laugh at the way we say it, because there must be another a Spanish pronunciation of them. Oh, there must be, but I don't know what it is. Kind of like Tenerife. The Spanish pronunciation of Tenerife is Tenerife. Yeah. Well, it's like France. French people call it, it's Francia. Yeah, so people laugh at us for like saying Espana, ten, Tenerife. Espana, 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 yeah. It's... But the idea is like obviously Worcester and all that being said different in America, it's the same thing as mm -hmm. us saying Tenerife. It's like tenerife. they don't call us England. Like but, they'd call us our different name. Yeah, I think that's a little bit different. Mm. Um, the England one. But the Tenerife, Tenerife, apparently you're going. Let us know what the actual pronunciation for Uruguay is. Because, um, yeah, what you're saying, England, it's anglais, isn't it? It's spelt differently as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, whereas this is, I think, it's, if it's the same word, it's pronounced differently, yeah. if that makes sense. I think I'm right in yeah. saying that. <laughs> right, since moving to the US, I've completely lost count of all of the places I've utterly mispronounced. It's as if the poem at Ellis Island should read, Give us your tired, your poor, your muddled articulation. And today I'm going to do precisely that. Here are seven American places that I've been saying completely wrong my entire life. When I... How would you say that? I can't even... I don't even have a chance to read that. My entire life. Montpellier. I'd say Montpellier. Montpellier. So you're saying... Montpellier. Okay, you changed it a little bit. Yeah, Montpellier. And what did I say? I don't know. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you guys heard what I said, and if I hear it again, I think I'll get yeah. it right. I, I ain't trying to say that again. I'd think about yeah. it quite hard. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was absolutely obsessed with all things America. At one point, it got so out of hand that I actually learned all of the state capitals in a week. Wow. I was like a magnet for information, less so for girls. But the problem was I learned all of it from a book, a book that didn't contain a pronunciation guide. For all I knew, Vermont's capital was spoken precisely like the French city after which it was named, Montpellier. It was only after addressing yet more I YouTube I said comments that I discovered mm. locals opt instead <laughs> for Montpelier, a city whose French opt... Your, yours is a lot closer. I mean, Isn't that what I just said? I, I, second time I think you did say that, yeah. yeah. I mean, you did say that, to be fair. Mm. One nil. I don't think you've ever said that in your life before. I think you've always said Montpellier. Good guess. I mean, I've never said that ever in my life. <laughs> I'm sure. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm right. Origins are by no means unique. When... Le Everyone's just going to say, I think, Louisville. Uh, I think I it's Louisville. Louisville. I was going to say Louisville. 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 So you're Sorry. going Louisville, and I'm yeah. saying Louisville. 
Yeah. Okay. Louisville. When I lived in Indiana, not only did I have to contend with subversive takes on human phonetics like Terre Haute, Notre Dame, or Cherville, but just south of the Ohio River was a curious city of whose pronunciation I had been heartbreakingly assured. Louisville. Now, while locals might well give me props for stopping short of Louisville, they might, as YouTube commenters have in the past, remind me that they somehow articulated in just two and a half syllables. Louisville. The city was named... Okay, so it's a short one, but I love how he said somehow. (laughs) Kind of like, he still can't get behind him. Louisville. Is that what you said? Louisville. Okay, I don't mind that. Yeah, I do. It's quicker. You know, I I don't mind words which are quicker to say. Yeah, but that's not how it's written. And that throws me off. <laughs> I don't like that. All right. <laughs> Louis the 16th, and I'm not sure what he'd think about all of us reducing his name to a, you know, mumble. That said, he can probably take comfort from both the duvet that he's wearing and the fact that an entire state was also named in his honour. And that Louise. state's largest city is this. New Orleans. But it's not New Orleans. New, New Orleans. New Orleans, I think. Yeah, I think New it's Orleans. Linz. New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, not New Orleans. Because I think I've always used to say New Orleans. No, we, and New, everyone just New Orleans. Me. It's New Orleans. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think we both, we're both the same. I'm pretty sure it's New Orleans. I think we're right. That's right. Down in the southeast of Louisiana, just up from the mouth of the Mississippi, is a city they call the Big Easy. The problem is, pronouncing it is anything but. You see, I'd always defaulted it to how Marty sings it in Back to the Future, remember? You know, during that rendition of Chuck Berry's Johnny Be Good, he lays down some riffs and declares deep down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. It even rhymes with evergreens, just in case you were in any doubt. But this is not how the locals say it. A fine example of how they do can be found in the form of Berry's contemporary, Fats Domino. A proud native of the Big Easy, Domino once sang, If I'm walking to New Orleans, or something like that. Meanwhile, I'm reliable. Yeah, yeah, we just said it with an accent, didn't we? New Orleans. Yeah, we said that. We're claiming it. did, didn't we? A little bit. I think we kind of said it like with an I instead of an E. New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. I think we New, were more Lens instead New of Lens. We were it's more, not Lens, it's Lens, isn't it? I think it was more like Lens. New Orleans. I, I think it's just the way you say it. Yeah, we, we're having it. I don't know how I'm spelling it. Let's I'm have just, a high five. We're, we're having it. It's a saying competition. No? Let us know in the com- uh, comments. I'm having it. <laughs> <laughs> Even shorter option of Norlands isn't usually spoken by residents themselves, but is what tourists think residents say. It's sort of like how people in Frisco don't actually say San Fran or Frisco, which brings me back <laughs> around to those tricky Spanish names. Bring on our next entry. Nevada. I'm no, from I, Nevada. Do people say Nevada? They say Nevada because I literally watched a YouTube video yesterday and they were talking, the American was saying that she's from Nevada. Nevada. And then what do we say, Nevada? Well, I say Nevada because I know that. But, I mean... Okay, I'm, I'm going to go with Nevada as well with say you. Say Nevada. <laughs> what? <It's> Nevada. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going Nevada as well. Mm, you you best not be wrong, though, because you big this up. I mean, if I'm wrong, then the American I watched last night was wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. My sincerest apologies to the people of the Silver State. You care deeply about your state pronunciation, and for that I commend and fear you. The truth is, I, along with millions of others, have been saying it wrong for decades, at least according to the locals. We couldn't help it. We didn't know any better. I mean, we took the example of other Spanish derived words like, you know, avocado or piñata or tomato. Nevada, yeah, actually, yeah. that last one is a bad example. And assume that your state just followed the same rule that the second vowel was equal to that in Tostada, you know, Nevada. But I wasn't born yesterday in both Britain and America. It's perfectly normal for the rules of articulation to go out of the window, and I for one welcome that. So from this day on, I vow to the people of Nevada that I will pronounce it Nevada. What's that? I. There's a city Ow. in Iowa with the same name. <laughs> I'm it's a pronounced genius. pronounced Nevada. I give up. Bring on an easier one. <laughs> oh, God. Shinectedy. Shinectedy. Yeah, Shinectedy. 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 We've said a few. Shinectedy. Yeah, Shinectedy. Shinectedy. What in Kurt Vonnegut's moustache is that? That's what we thought. In the parlance of 
young people, there's a lot to unpack here, so let's get into it. If you're not familiar with this city in New York, let me tell you all about it. It's in New York, it's a city, and it's the absolute Mickey Rourke of hard-to-pronounce place names. First of all, there's the small matter of the first consonant. In similar fashion, Brits and Americans frequently clash over the other's pronunciation of schedule. The Americans pronounce it Schedule. That's the English way... Yeah, even though I pronounce schedule. it schedule. Yeah, I say because I this happens to me all the time at work. Yeah. I say schedule all the time, and at least three people turn around and go, "You mean schedule?" And then, and the way I to to get me to say, if you guys are struggling to say the way it's saying shoe, how would you say shoe? Shoe, shoe you schedule. Say school. Yeah, that's how they get it to me. But all the time, but then I you say, do say school. Oh yeah, I'm not. School. I'm not arguing it. I just say I just say schedule. It works oh, yeah, for I me. Say schedule know, as well. No one's ever said anything to me yet, so I, oh, I get it all the time. If they do, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So if, if I say yeah, like if they're saying to you, you mean schedule? Well, then you clearly knew what I was talking about. Yeah, but they, they don't say it like that way, like a whole boy. It's kind of just an unrunning joke now. So every time I say maybe schedule, it's maybe you are American. Maybe I am. Every time I say schedule, they kind of look at me and I go, "Sorry," um, and then I've got to process how I'm meant to say it, and I go, "Shoe schedule." There you go. <laughs> it's a it's an unrunning joke. <laughs> As I did, while the British either opt for that or schedule. Perhaps it was hearing the latter so often, or you know, studying German for three years, that convinced me that the city's first consonant was sh. And then there was the rest of the word. Was it nectady or nectady? Or should the emphasis be placed on the first syllable? I believe my first guess was shenectady. It was only while chatting with one of my fabulous patrons that I discovered its true delivery. Schenectady. You see, the name is derived not from, we German, from the Mohawk we word skanetati. <laughs> and is by no means the only native-inspired word that gave me trouble. In fact, here's a more famous one. Oh, what are you going with? Potomac. 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 Is that what you're saying? Potomac. Potomac. I'm saying... Potomac. Potomac. Okay, I think you're wrong. Potomac. Potomac. I'm I'm going Potomac. What am I going for? Potomac. Potomac. You said Potomac. Potomac. And I'm saying Potomac. 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 Oh, I'm so confused. (laughs) Let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, I played the character of Mitch in A Streetcar Named Desire, a play set in the French Quarter of, you guessed it, New Orleans. It was a university production, we were all British, and we all had to do southern accents that under no circumstances should sound anything like Forrest Gump. I recall delivering the following line at the read-through. All quiet on the potomac, Jenny. I mean, Blanche. So it was a weird time, but weirder still was that no one knew any better. They couldn't warn me just how horribly I was butchering the American River and the New Orleans dialect. And opening night wasn't an ideal time to find out, though I'm still thankful to that audience member for letting me know mid-show. And having now sailed that very river, I can say with absolute confidence it is pronounced Potomac. If only our final Potomac. entry itself Potomac. had a native origin Potomac. sparked as no. much confidence. Potomac. I know the comments are going to agree with you, but you're not saying Potomac. Potomac. You said Potomac. Potomac. Yeah, there's no Potomac. toe in there. Where's the toe? Potomac. Where's the toe? Potomac. Potomac. <laughs> you're still Potomac. not saying toe. Potomac. 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 Uh, I'm lost. It's better than Potomac. <laughs> Whether Good I'm attempt. referencing the cultural region or the mountain range, few places in the U.S. elicit oh, wait, such wait, sorry, we, we miss a word. Cultural region or the mountain range, few places. In whether I. Okay, we miss a word. Apachula. That's a good one. Apalachia. Okay. Apalachia. Whether I'm referencing the cultural region or the mountain range, few places in the U.S. elicit such impassioned debates as this one. Originally the name of a Muscogean people of northwestern Florida called the Abalachi, it was transcribed by Spanish explorers as and would have been pronounced Appalachian. As it happens, the word's phonetic history lends credibility to the present-day assertion that this way is correct. Indeed, that assertion is most prominent among those that live there, particularly in the central and south regions. So, does that mean that Appalachia, the usage of most Americans, and let's face it, me, is wrong? Well, I suppose that depends on your point of view. Personally, I'd like to do as the locals do, you know, once I've learned the error of my ways. So, with that being said, here's to Appalachia. May long it continue to test both my diction and my calf muscles. That's it for this episode. Please- we both got last one wrong. Yeah. Look, enjoy that? Yeah, it was good. 
I think there's quite a few different parts of this. When I searched this video, but it said part two and three, mm. so there's at least three. I don't know how many yeah. there is overall. So do you want to do more? Yeah, it'd be fun. Smash that like button if you want to see more, guys. Let us know in the comments. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.